You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host, and today we're going to do a 30-minute edition of Greater Brockton, and I have with me as my guest a familiar face to TV on Monday nights, City Councilor at Large, Gene Bradley Duranancourt. How good are evening, you? Mr. Chairman. I'm good. Good to see you. Good to see you again. How's uh, political office going, being uh, a city councilor at large <laughs> for the citizens of Brockton? Well, I mean, so far, life is great. Um, I'm loving it. You know, serving the people, as you know, is one of the things that I truly believe in. And so far, I think um, we are doing excellent. And I think um, everybody who actually took the time and, and went on the poll and voted for me November 7, I truly appreciate it. So I'm here. I'm here to serve the people, and I'm here to chat with you. Well, you're here to talk about, um, we like to promote different things that BCA is doing, yes. but you will be the latest city councilor <laughs> to take me up on my offer during election season to do your own show. Yes. So I promise, I mean, I, you know, it, it, this is kind of like funny, though, because you told me that I could do the show, mm -hmm. but I have to be elected. And I told you once I got elected, I was going to do the show. And the moment I pick up the phone and I said, Mr. Chairman, I have a name for the show. You said, let's do it. So... Um, do you want me to say the name or Absolutely. you want to say the name? So no, the, the, I want the, you to. The name of the show will be Together with the Win and Court. Together right. with the Win and Court. So I'm hoping this show will bring different ideas and different ideology where our resident will be able to meet different people in our community. Why not outside of the community based on what they do? So I cannot wait for us to start the show. So it's going to be my first show, and let's do it. Okay, well, I'm <laughs> glad because uh, you're joining the, the, the line. Uh, former Councillor Michelle Dubois has mm -hmm. a show called Good Government. Wow. Councillor uh, Ann Beauregard has a show called Ward 5 and 10. She only does a 10-minute show. 10-minute, wow. Okay, because she talks fast. We all know that. <laughs> okay. Um, Councilor Farwell just premiered a show called Open Window. He did his first show mm. with uh, Representative Claire Cronin mm. to talk about the criminal justice reform mm. bill, mm. and now you're going to take me up on it. I, I've offered it to every councilor, mm -hmm. every school committee member, mm -hmm. every elected official. Oh, and I can't forget John Buckley, mm -hmm. who's done the registers report for years, mm -hmm. both on BCA wow. and at PAC TV, which is Plymouth Area Community TV. Okay, so okay. he does it in both ends of the county. Nice. And, and you know what? Our, our commitment on the government channel mm -hmm. is for the elected officials to be able to communicate mm -hmm. with their constituents, mm -hmm. to bring on, you know, I, I, I don't know who your guests are going to be necessarily yet, but there are, you know, there's department heads, there's citizens. Yeah. Um, you know, you can get viewer feedback. Mm -hmm. The government access channel mm -hmm. was created yeah. so officials could talk to their constituents electronically. I mean, everybody does social media, but mm -hmm. people still watch TV. Yeah. So I think you're going to get good feedback. And uh, I, I, I know when you were on TV during the debates, mm -hmm. you know how to present yourself well. I met you in the <laughs> hallways at Massasoit Community yeah. College, and you were running for student trustee mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. you, you gave the keynote address, which you did a bang-up job, so a speech <laughs> Thank teacher you. can Appreciate say that. It. Yeah. And you know, how to, you, you know how to talk and you know how to communicate. Yeah. And you know how to do that despite the fact that English wasn't your first language. Yeah. You came here to our Brockton Public I'm Library. I'm still learning English. I'm okay. still learning. Yeah, but, you know, you, you have one on me, my friend. You speak <laughs> other languages, and I don't. Yeah. I used to skip Spanish class at yeah. Brockton High and go hang out in the well, TV studio. Well, thank you. That, that's so kind of okay. you. Thank you. Appreciate my, it. My dad. My yeah. dad's undergrad degree was five Romance languages. Mm. His wow. native language was, was, was Spanish because wow. he was born in Cuba. Cuba. But dad spoke five languages, mm. then throw in English, Yiddish, and Hebrew. Wow. So he spoke eight, all the way up until he was 90 years old. Wow. And my mother was born in Boston, so we didn't speak Spanish at mm. home. My yeah. brother went to Miami, learned how to speak Spanish and Creole, mm. because he's been there for 40 years. Mm -hmm. So I, I respect anybody. We I tell gotta, all my students yeah, we gotta, that you have an advantage if you yeah. speak another language. And I'm sure that helps you communicate with your constituents. Yeah. You, you, you said during the campaign, I'm not just the Haitian candidate. Yeah. I'm here for everybody in yeah. Brockton, and you've already proven that yeah. in the time that you've been office. Um, we did the wonderful Haitian Flag Day last year, which what is an one event. of my that was great, wasn't favorite it? events because it's <laughs> children and elders. Everybody, That's the nicest yeah. thing yeah. about it. Yeah. Um, you now have the, the lady, I, I, I have to remember the her Haitian name. General Wait. Council. Um, from Boston that represent the Haitian government. Right, and she, she wasn't the council no, before. She, she was, was not. the assistant. Now yeah. she's risen up to the council. She's the boss. She's the boss. Yeah. So, and she um, loves Brockton, too. She's been coming to Brockton, if I can remember, for the past two and a half years. So oh, she's an amazing woman, and I think it's a very, it's an excellent asset, not just to the Haitian community, why not the community at large? And I think 
Um, you know, that's, that's, that's Brockton. That's why, you know, I choose that name for my show, Together with the Winning Court. So it's not just a show about I or a show about someone else. It's a show about us. So how do we bring different people with different knowledge to come to a show like this to discuss whatever they know to the people and hopefully they will be able to learn something and make something out of it. So my paramount goal with this show is to, is to bring a different mindset and a different ideology, why not a different approach to our city because we have so many uh, resources in this city, we have so many people who are doing wonderful work but sometimes they don't have the opportunity to expose the information. So if my show um, could be a way of them promoting whatever they are doing within Brockton, why not bring them on board? And I think that's why together with the Win on Court will be a very successful show. I mean, even if it's early, but I think it's going to be very good. I don't want you to give away everything because when you premiere a show, okay. you have to kind of <laughs> unwrap it okay. and premiere it. But um, give us some thoughts on uh, a guest or get. I, I do my Greater Brockton show, as you can see, at this table, mm -hmm. and you can use it. It's available. I would for love to use, to use it. I mean, I think okay. I like this set. I um, like it. Councilor Farwell did too last okay. last okay. week okay. with Claire. Um, but I only allow one guest mm -hmm. at a time, mm -hmm. and I think it's it's a little bit more controllable. When I do this show, I do three nine-minute segments mm -hmm. because people's attention spans aren't quite what they used to be. Mm -hmm. Regular broadcast TV is 22 minutes with commercials, mm -hmm. so I figure you can watch a segment, go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. or go get a snack, come mm -hmm. back, watch the second segment, <laughs> and go for the third. People do shows in, in 10-minute increments, 15-minute increments, mm -hmm. whatever, or a full 30. You would be, you'd be surprised how fast 30 minutes go mm -hmm. if you're into your topic mm -hmm. and if you have a good guest, yeah. which you will. Yeah. So I will do my previews, best. <laughs> any previews of things you uh, might want to talk on, about? On, on top of my head right now, I mean, I think that, um, as you know, I just propose um, an ordinance to increase access um, to voter registration in the city of Brockton, where our resident will be able to access uh, voter registration form from the Brockton Public Library, uh, Brockton Public High School, um, the Bath Station, different area in Brockton, of course, some of the private um, institutions. So the goal is that is to make it much easier for them to receive this information, you know, as they are making their way to do different things. So I think this is a wonderful thing. So I probably would ask somebody who has a better knowledge regarding this issue to come on board. But I think, you know, I will have some very good guests to talk about different issues. It doesn't have to be politics. It could be anything that I think is uh, beneficial to our residents. So like you, like you mentioned, some of our, you know, city's head department, I think some of these people are doing a wonderful job in the city. People may not even know what they're doing. I mean, why not have, you know, the chief of police on board to talk to people? Why not have you know, the chief of the firefighter on board. Why not have, you know, different people that the I The library think, director. The library director. Don't forget I love the library. I've I learned English from the library. Why not have Paul? Why not have Paul? Well, Paul's Paul been a frequent show? guest. He's starting to get up there on my number of okay, times on okay. Greater Brockton, okay. and he promotes the library events. Um, we're trying to turn it into even more of a true community okay. center than it already is mm -hmm. because it's People's University upstairs. You remember that yeah. on the on the, on the the WPA mural from yes. the 30s. Yes. Okay, and um, we're lucky we have good support from the counselors. You, you said in your letter that when you went over the council, you were going to stay our advocate, and yes. I know you will. Yeah. Um, there is a lot good going on. You're talking on about, about my Brockton. letter of resignation. Your letter this of was resignation. This but I had to. <laughs> well, we can't have you in both places at once. I couldn't you know? be. I but couldn't we, we it, had yeah. you for a year. But I did, I'm here. I did the same thing yeah. with you that was done with me. When mm. Dr. Lingos asked me to be on the board, mm. I was more than half his age. He had been the chair of the board for years, and he was my Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. He was a wonderful, wonderful man. He gave to the library. The whole Lingos Auditorium mm -hmm. is named after him. He donated $150,000 from his family trust wow. to help us when we raised the millions of dollars, because mm -hmm. we had to match the money mm -hmm. that the state gave us, we, and then we did a bond. So that wow. library was a true community partnership. Wow. The only thing they didn't do that I wanted is I wanted a stage off of the back okay. so we could have music at yeah, the library. That would be great. And now that we have a musician at the library, yeah. we can at least have it inside. <coughs> have then, you spoke with Paul about this? Oh, yeah. Paul okay. and I have. Uh, so is he on board? Oh, absolutely. Let's well, not it. to build it off the back. <laughs> We're going to do something inside. And then the other thing I want to do 
is I want to bring back our murder in the library play that we okay. used to do. Okay. And we used to uh, kill off politicians at election time. Oh, really? It was a big hit. Wow. It was a big hit. Yeah. And sometimes they killed off other people. It was okay. fun yeah. because it gave everybody a good laugh. You yeah. know how tense it gets Let's, during a campaign. Yeah, I know. It could be so tough, we could, we could do that again. I mean, you know I'm a happy guy, so I'm always happy. You know, right. It doesn't matter what we do, so I'm always, right. I'm always happy. I mean, I, I'm fortunate to receive this kind of uh, attitude from my mom, and I think she, she taught me a very good lesson. For Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's talk about your initiative. I know it's going to the council soon. Mm -hmm. I don't want to date this too much, the yes. show, so we can run it a few mm -hmm. times. One thing about cable is you'll find that the show goes on a few times in terms of repeats because okay. we don't we like people people watch TV at different times mm -hmm. of the day or night sometimes people have a night shift they watch it during the morning mm -hmm. sometimes they watch it in the afternoon and we're expanding our programming we're about to get a new video server mm -hmm. soon in the month of June after the budget hearings are over mm -hmm. so we can actually coming up next and different things that we're going to be able to put on mm -hmm. our, our channel mm -hmm. we're, we're hopefully going to upgrade the council chambers while it, the elevator's being fixed. We're going to put a meeting room in at the War Memorial mm. and the auditorium at the War Memorial, mm -hmm. and we're also going to do the little theater at Brockton High. Okay. So now you won't have what I call cable whiplash, okay. which is one camera panning around. Mm -hmm. In council chambers, you know we have four. Okay. So it'll still be four. The little theater will be four. The War Memorial will be four. But the War Memorial is going to be in two rooms, the meeting room mm -hmm. and the auditorium, because okay. there's so many events like when Markey came, Senator Markey, Mm -hmm. for his town meeting. Mm -hmm. Haitian Community Partners had mm -hmm. their event there. Symphony's been there. We want television to look better. It, Boston is the ninth TV market in the country, mm -hmm. so we want the local to look as good okay. as, as the national. The only thing is we don't have HD channels, but mm -hmm. we're working on that one. The cable license is up okay. for renewal okay. right now. Mm -hmm. But I like, talk about the whole, the, the t making it easier, because right now, in order to vote, mm -hmm. you have a couple of ways to do it. Mm -hmm. You can go to City Hall from 8.30 to 4.30, mm -hmm. Monday through Friday, during work hours, when a lot of people can't <coughs> go mm -hmm. and register. You can register online. You can do that, okay? Yeah. Or you can register when you get your driver's license. Yes. That's yes. it. Yeah. So your bill is going to bring in um, other ways to do that. Yes. Like yes. the library is open at night. Yeah. Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday night, and each of the branches are open. So yes. there are people that can register right there. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's like this is, this is something that will, I mean, my ordinance will not cost the city of Brockton a penny because we, we get the application from the Secretary of State. Right. The goal of that ordinance is to sort of like make it more flexible for people to receive this form at a variety of places. Like I said earlier, the Brockton Public Library, Brockton High School, the Bath Station, um, you know, different, different institutions. So the goal is that is to making sure that when somebody, let's say, applying for a library card um, at the library and that person is a US citizen, they are 16 or older, they are willing to do it, they will be able to receive this application as they are applying for that library card. So a mom who's working two jobs, trying to get the kids to kind of like get some books, will be able to do this at once, which means he or she will be able to kill two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. And I don't think this is a bad idea. I think it's a wonderful idea. So far, I mean, from the council, I think we have wonderful support. As you know, it's a process. I'm hoping that in July, this will go in front of the ordinance committee to find out what the next step will be. But the goal is that is to make it easier for people to receive this information and hopefully they will be able to fill out this form and doing it because sometimes I do know someone may have a desire to vote but they don't have the time to go to a city well, from 8 to 8.30 to 4.30 like you said. They have, a, they have jobs sometimes outside of the city. So if we can make it easier for them to receive this, this form at different locations why not do it? It's not going to cost anything. So I think it's a wonderful idea. It's a no-brainer, and I'm assuming that my colleagues, which I believe they will, as long as we follow the procedure and do it accordingly, they will come on board and vote in support of it. And I think you can, I mean, how could you possibly go against something like that? You look at Brockton <laughs> and you've seen close elections. Yeah. And we've seen a three-vote election. Mm -hmm. We had in one 1981 vote. a one-vote yeah. election. I voted in that election, yeah. and former Mayor Crosby, 
who was one of my mentors, who told me how important it was to vote. I couldn't wait to vote. But I think about three years ago, yeah. we had a close race. When yeah. Ann Bogart first got elected. She three. won by one vote. Right. She and, did. And, and, I might be wrong, but I think and, she won by one vote. And that happened the time before okay. as well when um, Councilor DiNapoli was in it as well. Hmm. We had Linda Belzardi when she was first elected a city councilor. Really? I think it might have been her second term. I'm, I'm getting a little foggy. Mm -hmm. She won by six votes. Wow. And, and, and Mayor Carpenter was 55 votes mm -hmm. the first election. Mm -hmm. And there were 23 votes people lost by. So every vote does count. Yes. I couldn't wait to vote when I was 18. Mm -hmm. There was no early registration. Mm -hmm. We couldn't do it when we were 16 or 17. Mm -hmm. I was, I'm an August birthday, mm -hmm. so I just made the cutoff to vote in that primary. Mm -hmm. And I was in college. I was away at, um, univer uh, um, I think I was at, uh, no, I, that one I would have been at George Washington. Mm -hmm. I was there for a semester. And I voted. It was the old punch cards mm -hmm. with the, the hanging chads. I wasn't born at the time, I, I, I know you weren't. <laughs> but I voted, and you used to get a, a, a ballot this big, yeah. and there was styrofoam in it, mm -hmm. and you would punch the little pin mm -hmm. through the thing and mail it back. Okay. Well, now technology has changed. Yeah. It's going to make it easier. But... And we're getting better with our voter turnout. I think what you're trying to do will help increase it yeah. because, you know, 40, 40 uh, uh, I'm trying to think, we're a city officially of 94,000, even though I think we have a lot more people yeah. than that. Okay, I think there are 45,000 registered I think voters. 42,000. 42, 42 something wrong. like that, yeah. okay. And we, we had one mayoral primary one year. And, and Councilor at Large, where there was 4% that turned out, mm -hmm. which is pathetic because yeah. think of people died mm -hmm. to fight for our yeah. rights to vote, yeah. and people in other countries yeah. have to put themselves at risk sometimes yeah. to vote, yeah. okay, in, 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 in even democracies. Yeah. And uh, this is going to this is going to make it easier. So I look forward to seeing that debate. I mean, I, as I, you know, so I campaign on, you know, giving young people an opportunity to get engaged. Right. I think this is a wonderful way of encouraging them by bringing this form to them as they are making their way to high school. Let's face it, the goal is that anybody who's 16 years old, yeah. the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, allow you to pre-register to vote. But we don't have this form at Blackton High School. Right. I mean, I believe they would love to have it. Why not? So if we can actually take this form and bring it to Blackton High School, as these kids go into school in the morning, it doesn't take them too long to do it. And you know what's so funny? They can actually do it on their cell phone. So and if you know how to do it, it will only take you less than two minutes to do it, you know? Look at what the kids did after the tragedy down in Florida, how they got involved and rallied. People like amazing. to talk about kids don't care. Well, oh. I know they care. What started me is Jimmy Carter, mm. when he was running for president of the United States, came and spoke at Brockton High School. We had six presidential candidates, Democrats, mm. in that year come to the city of Brockton wow. and ask for our vote. I met him. That man is still active at 92 years <laughs> old, building Jimmy houses Carter. for He's Habitat for Humanity. Okay, He just unfortunately got caught up mm -hmm. with a hostage crisis that didn't help him mm -hmm. too much because of what happened with Iran at the time. But he was a very good man. He's been married 70 years. I have so much respect for him. And last year I was hoping, my dad was sick so I couldn't go, but the Rotary had their international convention in Atlanta. And mm -hmm. the reason I wanted to go was I wanted to go to the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library. Mm -hmm. I, I, I actually got invited to his inauguration, but I was 14 years old okay. and my parents wouldn't let me go. Mm -hmm. But I have a little gold peanut that says Carter 76. Mm -hmm. You got that peanut two ways. You either worked for him for a thousand hours, or you gave him a thousand dollars. And as a fourteen-year-old, I didn't have a thousand hours so to give him. For. So I volunteered, and I held signs, and that's what got me involved. Mm -hmm. That's what got me running for student senate at Brockton mm -hmm. High. I was the student rep to the school committee for three years. That's what got me into all of this. Yeah. And then I probably have worked on over thirty-six campaigns up until the time that I came here mm -hmm. and had to kind of stay out of it because yeah. I have to get everybody on TV. Yeah. So I think this is a good initiative. Thank you. I hope your council <laughs> colleagues are going to see it. I mean, really, who would be against it? Especially yeah. if it doesn't <laughs> cost anything. No, that's So that's all. kind of a yeah. no-brainer yeah. to me. Yeah. So um, think a little more about who some of the guests or topics might yeah. be. What, yeah. what, what... Um, we have a lot of issues going on in this yeah, city right yeah. now. We have Public safety is one of the top ones, and that's why I said I think um, having the chief, um, you know, the chief is a very busy guy, but I think having him come and share some ideas in terms of, like, 
how young people can get involved and stuff like that, how they can actually stay off the street could be a positive thing because let's face it, you know, we are a very diverse city and by having different kind of ideology, different debates, open dialogue, I should say, will actually welcome more people to get engaged. And you know me, I mean, I am somebody who believe in everybody. I don't have a personal agenda. I don't have a, you know, I don't have anything behind the scenes. So my goal is to do my best to represent the entire Brockton. And that's why I, I chose to win at large because I did not want to represent just one ward or one block. But now, because I am an elected official in the sense represent the entire city. So I can go anywhere in Brockton, say hello to people, try to find out what's going on and stuff like that. So for me, this is one of the most amazing things that can happen to me. And fortunately, the people of Brockton give me this opportunity. And now it is my responsibility to go out there and find the resources and make it happen. So I think that ordinance, I truly believe from the bottom of her heart, it's an amazing thing and I hope my colleague um, will join me in passing this and hopefully our young people will be more engaged because I would like to see you know some of our young people get engaged I mean politically why not I mean if you can you know go to war at 16 and 17 and 18 why not get involved in politics at 16 I would like them to actually get involved not just for the sake of getting involved but getting involved deeply and I think it would be a wonderful asset to our city the moment you see that young folks start coming together to fight social issues for all of us. And I think that's the goal. And that's how you started out, too. You were involved with the Coalition for Social Justice yeah. on the, pay, uh, the, the sick earned leave, sick earned sick yeah. time. Yeah. Um, we have other initiatives that are coming up soon. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think we're lucky because you have a ward counselor. Yeah. You have four at-large counselors. Mm -hmm. There are four of you. Yes. Okay. So the way I've always looked at it is I have... I have five representatives yeah. that work on my behalf. Yeah. That's pretty good. You and then I have a school committee member as well. Yeah. What, I, what I would like folks to understand, what I would like the, the residents to understand is that you are my boss. I work for you. And not just I, all of us, the elected official, works for you. So it is our job to listen to you. It is our job to do what you want us to do. But at the same time, sometimes we have to think about certain issues that is going on in the city. But that's why, as you can see, I give my personal cell phone number to everybody. Give it out. So it's, if somebody would like to get in touch with me, you can call me at 774-297-0191. Again, 774-297-0191. Because if I work for you, then you should be able to know where to find me. So there is no way in which I'm going to hide myself. And as you can see, people said, Gene Bradley, the Renan Court, we've, seen, we've been seeing you everywhere. So if you don't see me somewhere, not because I don't want to, it's because I am unable to be there. But if I do have the time, as you know, I will do my best to be there. So, and, 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 and people have been saying that the election is over. Why are you still campaigning? I'm not campaigning. I promise you I was going back to your house and say hello. That's the goal. That's what I'm doing now. I thought I was getting a cue on my phone because uh, we're, we're doing this show tonight yeah. and we're also out covering Councillor Ann Beauregard's um, ward meeting at the library. Mm -hmm. She's using the community room at the library. Okay. All the councillors are doing it. I know you guys are talking about soon doing another councillor at large mm -hmm. group meeting. If I'm not wrong, I think we're probably going to do this in September. I think it's okay. a, Wait if, till I the might fall. be wrong. I know you have budgets coming up. The, you just got the budget last yeah, night from next, the next, mayor, the first week and of the June. first week in June you're going to do that. That's going to be a very interesting <laughs> week because besides the budget hearings yeah. for four nights, we have a school committee meeting on one of the nights, and we have the Southeastern Regional graduation wow. on the other night. So we're going to be doing a little juggling that week. And we have the, 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 the Massachusetts Democratic the convention, convention coming All the graduations are coming is, up. Is my birthday is Thursday. I know it is. Yeah. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank and you. you've done a, a, quite a few celebrations on different <laughs> birthdays in the past. Um, That's the, my first one on the live Massasoit TV. The Massasoit graduation yeah. is the morning of June 1st. Oh, wow. And the convention is the evening and the next day. Yeah. And then the Brockton High graduation is on convention day, unfortunately. Yeah. I wish it wasn't. And then Southeastern, we go to the 6th. 
we worked, we helped with the Stonehill graduation and we assisted with the Massasoit graduation. But I'm going to the Massasoit graduation to see any of my students mm -hmm. that graduate, because I always do. I don't march, I'd rather be in the audience. And then I told them if they're short for cable, for crew, I'll run a camera for them because mm -hmm. it's a bird's eye view. And my friend, Professor Bob Bowers, is the faculty speaker this year. Wow. So he teaches speech. Yeah. He's one of the people I learned from hey, to well, teach speech. Guy. So I want to see what Bob has to say, because yeah. Bob has a very dry sense of humor, yeah. and he's also <laughs> kind of witty, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, it it's exciting funny. time at Massasoit mm -hmm. because we're about, uh, we're going to have Bill Mitchell handle the graduation as the interim president, but we just chose the first female president of Massasoit I College, love that. I love Dr. It. Gina Glickman, who has a lot of experience. Yeah. Yeah. She's coming up from Connecticut, so we're looking forward. She's going to finish in Connecticut the beginning of July, and she's mm -hmm. going to start in Brockton the end of July, before the school year starts. And uh, Massasoit, you, you, and I, you and I share a lot of different things in common. Massasoit, the library, public service, everything, and yeah. now TV. Yeah. Okay, so you'll you what, star of stage, screen, and television. You're already <laughs> on Monday nights. I really, really yeah. wanted the officials to use the government yeah. channel. I think it's really important to get the word out because um, you know what? You can't be edited yeah. on cable TV. Okay. You do your 30 minutes. Those are your 30 minutes. Those are your thoughts with your guests and your constituents. Mm. A newspaper can edit you. A radio station can cut you down. Any kind of news media can say what you're doing in 30 seconds mm -hmm. instead of 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So this is your chance. That's the nice thing about cable. We have long time period to be able to communicate. I mean, I think it's a wonderful tool. It's a wonderful tool to bring um, information to our constituents, uh, given the fact that some of them do have a very busy life. So by having an opportunity to have a show on local access TV, I think it's one of the best things that we can possibly do for the sake of you know, giving them this information because, you know, Brockton is a very busy city and some of our residents um, have one, two, three jobs, you know, to put bread on the table. And I think if, 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 if coming here for half an hour, talk to them, bring someone to talk to them um, would be beneficial, why not do it? But as you know, all of us um, do have our personal life and sometimes it can be very tough, but you know, it is my responsibility to create the time that the people voted for me to move on because in order for me to be effective um, of what I do, I have to be able to talk to you folks and let you know what I do and have a new question what I do and hopefully to work together on it and to move Brockton forward. That's why I come with together with the winning court. So you gave out the phone number. Mm -hmm. If people have suggestions or they want input on the show, do you want them to call you? Do you want them to email you? They gave me the two-minute cue, so you got about okay, a minute okay. of that time. Well, um, for my show, if you would like to be a part of it, you can always call me at 774-297-0191, or you can um, email me at J, D as in dog, E as in elephant, R as in will, E as in elephant, N as in nothing, O as in organ, N as in nothing, C as in court, O as in organ, U as in ultra, R as in will, T as in told, at C O B M A dot U S. As you know, I do have a long last name. If you forget it, the guy with the longest name. So you can always call me. We're going to flash it up on the <laughs> screen so it'll be there. Yeah. So look, I'm looking forward to your, your, your first show. I'm glad to have you a guest on my show. Mm -hmm. And thank you for serving the residents of Well, Mr. Chairman, thank you for always um, opening the door for me to come in and share my thoughts and ideas with our residents. It was excellent to be here, and I look forward to, to come back to Greater Brockton. It's a good show. Thank you, and I'll probably come on your show at some <laughs> point. We'll talk about Southeastern. Why not? How's Let's that? do it. <laughs> okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.